This is okay. The 2016 paper. This is uh, question one. The restricted answer. Hydrogen peroxide gradually de decomposes into water and oxygen according to the following equation. Okay, given the equation. Nice enough. At room temperature, the reaction is very slow. It can be speeded up by heating the reaction mixture. State why increasing the temperature causes an increase in reaction rate. Okay, so what you're doing here is increasing the number of molecules or increasing the molecules with the activation energy. If you wanted to talk about that in terms of kinetic energy, that's nice as well. Okay, but what we're looking for is for you to recognise that for you to get a reaction to happen, the molecules have to have sufficient energy that they are past the activation energy. If you increase the temperature, more more molecules will have that activation energy. Okay, the reaction can also be speeded up by adding a catalyst such as manganese dioxide. Um, to determine the rate of the reaction, the volume of gas produced is given in a given time can be measured. Complete the diagram below to show how the gas produced can be collected and measured. Okay, so we this is just one mark because you're only adding in one point on this diagram. You know, there's been in a couple of years there's been two markers where you've had two parts of the diagram to do, but this one is just one, and you basically only have two options. Okay, so you could, and I think this is the simplest one, connect on here neatly. You would do it better. Okay, because all we're trying to do is to collect gases, but also we need to be able to measure the gases. Now, it needs to be neat enough that you can see that it's cleanly kind of close to the, the barrel is close to the, the syringe kind of body. Um, and that means that you have to be neat. Okay, what it also means is label it. And if you do that, you've got it in a one because that will be able to determine the volume of gas in a given time. Okay. Your other option, perfectly valid, is to use downward displacement of water. So in that case, we need to have a trough. Okay, it's a bit of an angle. It, it'll do. Okay. Um, and since we're doing downward displacement, but we need to measure, oh, that's very wobbly. Okay. What we have here is a measuring cylinder. Cylinder. Um, and we need to have your delivery tube coming down and must, absolutely must, come to underneath the, measure, the measuring cylinder because otherwise you, you may have bubbles escaping. And then you need to show that we have, this is completely filled with water, okay, and that the, there's water in the measuring cylinder. So generally what you do is that you, you draw a kind of collection of gases started kind of thing. And you may draw a couple of bubbles of the gas and then we label. So we're saying here we've got collected gas. We've labelled it as a measuring cylinder and then we also label this as water. Okay, so downward displacement of water or gas syringe, that's your two. And with the downward displacement of water, you'd have to use a measuring cylinder, not just a test tube because you're trying to measure the volume. And that's it. Okay, concentration of hydrogen peroxide is often described as a volume strength. Uh, this relates to the volume of oxygen that can be produced from hydrogen peroxide solution in a given uh, equation. In an equation, sorry, in an equation, in an experiment, 74 centimetres cubed of oxygen was produced from 20 centimetres cubed of hydrogen peroxide solution. Calculate the volume strength of the hydrogen peroxide. So this is not too bad. Okay, so our volume strength, just using slight shorthand here, is my volume of oxygen divided by my volume of H2O, H2O2, because I've just um, rearranged this equation here, okay, which means that I now have 74 over 20, which means I have 3.7. That's it. Okay. Hydrogen peroxide can react with potassium iodide to produce water and iodine. A student carried out an experiment to investigate the effect of changing the concentration of potassium iodide on reaction rate. Results shown below. Calculate the time taken in seconds for the reaction when the concentration of potassium iodide used was 0 0.6 moles per litre. Okay, so what we have here is our relative rate. So what we've got is um, our rate is 1 over T, straight out of data book. Okay, what I'm looking for is T. So T is 1 over rate. I then need to draw off the graph. 
So I'm going to go from 0 0.6 up. It's on the half box, so you're expected to be able to read to half box tolerance. So I'm going to read right to the middle of that one there. So my T is 1 over 0 0.125. So I have 8 seconds. That's it. And that's it, Ed. Okay.